It's been a long time, hasn't it? I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl. Good morning, everybody, and happy 23rd of May. Someone wants to say hi. It's been a long time, hasn't it? What are you telling me? Are you saying, hello, everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. That's right. Well, I thought I would go ahead and do a vlog in between some of the other videos that I have gotten filmed over the weekend because, you know, there are things that we miss out on, like the affirmations, friend mail, showing you what I'm gonna be having in some upcoming live sales. So we gotta, we have to do some fillers. So this is gonna be one of them. Let me give her her, you know what this is. Bye. So today is Thursday. Um, I have to go to the post office today. I'm gonna go to Sweet Cakes and get me a Sweet Cakes Thursday treat and drink. And I need to um, take some pictures and get things ready, make my reel for Tuesday sale because we are going to visit my um, my in-laws this weekend so for the Memorial Day weekend so we won't be back to the shop until Tuesday so it's a lot we got a lot to do today so let's get started okay I just got to the shop and I have uh, I had a couple eBay sales overnight one of them are these fit flops oh my gosh I've had these for years listed on eBay <laughs> years years and they have finally sold amen for things finally selling after having them for years and then i also sold this little left-in piano baby um and a little bit of back and forth with the customer about the price but we got to figure it out and those things sold and um ended up selling it for my original offer that i had offered that they went back and forth with but you know sometimes you gotta you gotta stay solid with, with, with your pricing. Cause sometimes people will try to, you know, they'll get it for as little as they possibly can, which, you know, that's what we all try to do, right? It's no shade, it's just, you know, I gotta get you situated. It's just, you know, this is what I'm selling it for and this is what, how much I need, to, I need to sell it for. Anyway, all right, let's get that mindset out of the way and let's get on a positive mindset because we have our our year of positive thinking i have already forgotten the day of the week it is the 23rd the 23rd i've forgotten from here to there okay the 23rd of may waiting for approval oh affirmation warning waiting for approval are you still waiting for someone to tell you that you're doing it right? Whatever it is. Okay, then here you go. You are doing it right. Yay. You already are doing it right. So keep doing it. Did you hear that? You're already doing it right. You're already doing it right. Just keep on doing it that way. Unless it's not working for you, and then figure out how to make it work for you a little bit better. But the effort, the effort means a lot. All right, we're going to do our daily affirmators. I'm the only me that I've got, so I'm going to speak lovingly to myself from sunup to sunup. That means extra compliments hold the critical anxiety spirals. So it says, you look better than average. You look better than average. You sure can make a lemon square. I don't know what that means. And wow, you're, as, you're good at compliments. That's what those little notes say. Well, we'll put those in our bowl that goes into package toppers, but we got those affirmations done. I am going to get these orders shipped. I've printed off some labels from my sales yesterday. So we have to drop off all those things at the post office. We're gonna go to Sweet Cakes. And then we're gonna come back here. I'm gonna check my PO box. If we have some friend mail, well, oh, actually I do have, I do have some friend mail that I need to open. And then we're gonna sit down 
and we are going to make our listings. Well, I get it. Well, two, this is going to be twofold. I've got, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be selling in Tuesday's YouTube sale. I've pulled those items. I'm going to make the reel and I'll show them to you in this video. And two, we're going to take pictures as, to, so I can show you of the items that I'm going to be bringing in Tuesday's vamp quickies sale. I'm not going to do buyer's choice. I'm going to do actual things and not a buyer's choice this week. So I'm going to take those pictures. It's going to be a lots of art to sun and la blah, 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 Cause I've been asked several times if I had any pieces and I do. So I'm going to be bringing those to Tuesday's sale and I'm going to show you everything. All right, here we are at Sweet Cakes Bakery in Bedford, Indiana. We're going to go in and get our sweet treat from Sweet Cakes. All right, I got what's called the Sherbert from Sweet Cakes. I'm going to say it's supposed to taste like Sherbert. It's like raspberry and lime and cherry. That's good. Mmm. That is really good. Sweet cakes for the win. It's that a lotus energy drink. Now we're gonna have so much energy. Huh. Okay, we're gonna go to the post office and drop off all of our bags. I'm gonna check my P.O. box. And then we are going to start listing things for Tuesday sale and making our reel and that sort of stuff. So when we get back to the shop. I'll show you those things. Hi, it's me, I'm back. I got my sweet, sweet treats. I'm still, I'm still, I'm, I'm also for lunch. Thanks, Joni, for cheesies. From Canada, only from Canada, see? Canada. God. I don't even like che Cheetos, but those cheesies, they don't make your fingers messy. They're legit. Okay, going, moving on. Okay, so I was over here. I wheeled, I took my reel of my items that I'm going to be selling on Tuesday. Tuesday, 1 o'clock. What day is Tuesday? The 28th. The 28th of May. These things will be available in my Tuesday live sale. Let me show you. We got a little boxer dog. Isn't he cute? He is a Nesco. He's got that older 1950s Nesco foil label. And then we've got, this is, this one was odd. Well, you're a wiener dog. It's a wiener dog, but it's a Joseph wiener dog. There's his wiener. There's his wiener. <laughs> We're going to hide that. But there, Joseph. I didn't realize that actually until just now. <laughs> I lift, 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 lifted up your little butt. You're a Joseph dog. Cameo Cupie. This one actually isn't mine. I'm going to be selling some of mine, but I actually did find this one in the wild, believe it or not. They're getting harder to find, but look. He doesn't squeak. Doesn't squeak anymore. Made by Cameo. Uh, 1963, I believe. It kind of looks like 65. But I think it's 63 the way that it's stamped, but... He's going to be available. I don't know who made these. I have to look them up, but they intrigued me enough, so I bought them, and I'm going to sell them together, but it's the world's greatest mother and the world's greatest... I thought it said farter there first, but it is father. It is spelled correctly, although that would have been kind of funny if it was, you know, that, but look, he has a trophy. She has flowers. But she looks like... She she also got a little bonus in her prize. You can see it in her eyes. But those are going to be available as a set. I don't know. They, I just like them. And then we've got this once upon a time was uh, John Atrum, An Antrums. Wouldn't that be fascinating? Like somewhere out there. Think about this for a minute. Somewhere out there in this world. Po possibly. Think, think about this for a minute. Think about your lunchbox that you had when you were a child growing up. I can, I can see mine. There's two of them that I just instinctively, distinctively, well, I remember two of them. I remember the way that they smelled. Don't you remember the smell of opening your lunchbox? You know, that's a smell. 
that can bring back some memories. I had, my first one was a strawberry shortcake metal lunchbox. I have, I have not mine, but I bought another one. Um, and then my second one was a plastic yellow Garfield one. Thermos brand Garfield. Yellow. I'll pop up a picture because I know that some of you may have had one too. But you know, think about this. Somewhere out there, you know, our moms wrote our names on our on our stuff. I am certain my name was written on mine somewhere. Somewhere out there, there's a little Misty Nevin. My middle, my maiden name is Nevin. Little Misty Nevin. Her lunchbox is out there. If somebody ever finds a little Misty Nevin strawberry shortcake or Garfield lunchbox, message me. Thrifty Junker Vintage Hunter at gmail.com. But listen, if John Antrim. John, I got your lunchbox. I'm going to sell it on Tuesday. But if, but if you reach me between, between now and then, maybe we can figure something out. It's a little, you know, rusty on the inside. This one is the Jungle Book. And it is Aladdin Industries, Nashville, Tennessee. So there is, the, the outside of it is free of rust. So it's in really good condition um, on the outside of it. So double-sided, it's two different looks. That was a long thing to talk about that lunchbox, but I just think it would be kind of cool. You know, somewhere out there is your lunchbox with your name on it. All right, next I've got these crinoline plates. I have two of them. They're great. Um, I You can actually use them as plates, obviously, but I also think that they look good as a base for something. So you could have this on your table and then put, well, both of these are a little big for this plate, but you could put a little something something and make a little display. Or if you've got chandelier crystals, you could put that on there too. You know, so you could, there's some different ways that you can use these adrenaline plates. All right, I also am selling this great groovy uh, vintage recipe box with recipes in here, like Martha Washington creams. Good for you, Martha Washington. That's great. Um, ratio of Clorox to water. Just in case you ever need to know that to sanitize Martha Washington's creams. Um, here we have fresh peach cake. Yum. I would like peach cake. Karen's persimmon pudding. White chili. Pimento cheese spread. Braunschweiger ball. Apple bread. You know, I'm like thinking, I need to look through some of these recipes. I've actually canceled my um, Hello Fresh just because it's kind of a lot. And we kind of missed some of the old staples that we were so sick of. We've been doing HelloFresh for almost two years now. So we're kind of like sick of like sloppy joes, chicken casserole, spaghetti, like the old staples that you used to make. I might have a hankering for meatloaf. So we're going back to our own standards for a little while at least. This is Ohio art on the bottom, but look at that, the groovy flowers on top. So I like that one a lot. And then I've got this. This is a Nesco. I've never seen the orange one. I sold what I thought was all my bumblebee things last week. This one's in great condition. I love that orange. No damage to the bee wings. I will stick a little, I have a little honey dabber. I'm gonna set that to the side so I remember to go grab that. Belgium milk glass jar. I might put a little ribbon around it to zhuzh that up a little bit. These look really great though too if you've got any of the vintage um, water slide decals, like a little kitschy cat or something on here is really, really cute, but it's in great condition. We've got that uh, seal in there, so I don't know if you wanna keep coffee grounds or something in there. Coffee grinds, coffee beans. Anyway, okay, DeForest. Now, this one has a, has a little bit of a boober. It's got a little hairline right there on the top of the little onion head. And he's crying because he's so sad that he's been broken. But you don't need to cry, buddy, because somebody's going to use you as a display because you are just as good as a display. DeForest of California on the bottom. It has its stopper, and the stopper's in great condition, too. Normally, you don't ever find this. I found them like this, 
but not with the stopper. So that, mwah, I love you, you little vinegar man. I love the forest of California. All right, next we've got some more. I actually have one more of these. That No, I, I may grab it. I don't know. So we might have a choice of three. So we've got uh, orange, Czechoslovakia. They're made in Czech Czechoslovakia. Bird, figural, flower frogs. I found another Arnart bow tie mouse. These, like, I love these. They're sugared. They're great. He's in excellent condition. Now, he doesn't have his babies. You can see that little hoop right there. He would have had a chain family, um, but they're missing. But he's in excellent condition. So that, ugh, I, loved, I love finding those. This I need to do a little bit of research on. It is Fenton. It is stamped Fenton. It says hand painted by Kay Brenny. I did get this at a yard sale. I think I paid a quarter for it. So it has this beautiful hand painted iris on it. It's a milk glass vase. It is stamped Fenton on the bottom. So it is after 1973. Got some salt and pepper shakers. You can have your choice between some cows and some left in pigs. These, I love this one. I love that sculpt on these pigs. Aren't they great? I just sold these um, a couple weeks ago and I found another set. This is, it says it is Adrian, Japan. I think that's what that says. Well, it's Redware. It's a wiener dog, but you can keep your snacks. Snack, oh, I could put my cheesies in there. And this little dog, there's his behind. So it goes together like a train there. Boop. It's not magnetic or anything. Oh, oh, I didn't even notice this. Okay, so it says snacks on this side and it says snack hound on the other side. So whatever way you want them to look, you can either be snacks or the snack hound. But it goes together like that. Next, uh, I am selling my, some. Of, these are some of my prized possession books. They're not easy to find, but I need to let some things go. Um, and it is Elizabeth Gordon. She is one of my favorite author illustrators of children's books in the 1920s, 1930s. This one is copyright. So this one was written by Elizabeth Gordon, but it was illustrated by Marion Foster and it's copyright 1924. And I love the inscription. It says, this little book is lovingly dedicated to every child and is most especially dedicated to one particular child, Cora Ellen. But, uh, so this one isn't illustrated by Elizabeth Gordon, but it is written by her. And I love Merry Christmas to Mary Louise from Auntie Mame, December 25th, 1925. So the little, the little um, blurb from Elizabeth Gordon says, why children? Like, why did she make little anthropomorphic flowers and stuff, children. My dears, I wonder what next. Here are all the things in the house talking and what's more clamoring to be heard, just like the flower children and the bird children and the rest of the good Volan story children. I am sure you will all want to know what it is, what they say and why. So I've made some little rhymes out of their talk and here they are. I hope you'll like them ever and ever so much and that they will prove amusing even if you're already doing the things they insist need doing. And so good luck and goodbye until next time, Elizabeth Gordon. Let me read you one. So here we've got kind crusty toast. Nope, yeah, right here. Said crusty toast, if children knew how good I am way through and through, they'd never feed me to the pig, but scrunch me and grow strong and big like daddy. Daddy just adores crunchy toast with butter on it. And then we've got poor neglected dolls. Said bisque doll, no one seems to care to change my dress or comb my hair. Said rag doll, I'm thrown any place. Now I'm just lying on my face. Said some little mothers are careless. I know you would never treat your child that way. Mm. So that's happy, happy home children. This one is one of my very favorites. This one's Lorraine and other little people. This one has so, this one has such good illustrations in it. I am not joking you. 
but look at all the little anthropomorphic children peeping around. This one is written by Elizabeth Gordon and it's illustrated by M.T. Penny Ross. This one is copyright, well, the original copyright was 1915. This one is 1933. And it has a little word to the children. And it says, there was once a man who loved the little children very much, almost as much as I do. His name was Robert Louis, Louis Stevenson. And I hope that little children will come to love me almost as they do him. You will all remember that he wrote these words. The world is so full of a number of things. I'm sure we should all be as happy as kings. I believe that too, but I couldn't say it as so beautifully. So I've made to made you some little stories about a little girl for a time who could not run and play with other children, but she found that the number of things in this beautiful world and was very happy for all the time. The little people are very busy little people, always at work for the good of others and their own happiness. And when you know them as well as Lorraine learned to know them, you will find that they are good friends to have for your very own. Mr. Ross has made the pictures for you and they are very good likeness indeed. Elizabeth Gordon. So look at these little pictures in here. Look at the little troll guys. Oh man. So it is just, there are black and white and color photographs in here. You can see it goes every other page is black and white and color. Look at, she's a butterfly and look at the flowers with the little baby heads. It's in such wonderful condition. I love those books. Love, and I, it's an honor for me to be able to bring them to you. All right, this girl I found when I was in Wisconsin and she is a, she is Charlo Beige, and she means good luck. See, she's got her little good luck stamp right there. She has her original good luck vinyl tag. She is made by Goble. Now, Goble did these little redheaded girls in figurines as well. She's got her little handkerchief pinned to her dress, and look at that face. She is adorable. She reminds me of little baby Emmeline. She has all of her original clothes and her original shoes. She's in wonderful condition and her original bow. She's fully posable to her arms and her legs both move. All right, and then we have cabbage patch fabric and a pillowcase. So we've got, I have these sheets. I have this pillowcase currently in my closet. I use it all of the time. This does include a pillowcase and then a bunch of fabric so you can make more pillows with that fabric and then i have a really pretty pink and white linen tablecloth in excellent condition i need to measure that i'm gonna lay that to the side and then on tuesday sale i'm thinning out my hoard of resource books because i got a lot so i'm going to be offering opalescent glass from a to z Left in China, a little Miss Dainty down there, and there's Cupie right there. TV lamps to light the world, and glassware of the 40s, 50s, and 60s. These are great reference books because it gives you um, King's Crown Thumbprint. It gives you a history of the makers of these glass pieces um, and the history of the patterns and that sort of thing. So it's a really good reference if you want to learn more about the glass and such that you're selling. So these things are going to be available on Tuesday, 1 p.m. Eastern on my YouTube channel. And then at five o'clock, we will be having a vamp sale. Oh, well, over here is where I have my vamp sales. But I've pulled, I've got to take pictures of what I'm getting ready to do now. I've got to take pictures of all of these things. Look at this guy. He's, you know what, again. And then we've got some artisan. We've got some unicorns, a pegasus, a exercise cat. So I've got, I'm going to um, a seagull, a goose, some oranges over there. Alf, he's born to rock. So it's easy, re it's really easy to list on VAMP. What I do is I'll just take all these pictures, just like if you were listing 
on eBay. I take pictures and then I'll create my listings using my laptop. Um, a lot of people ask questions about VAMP. Like, it's not on Android. I don't I have the app. It isn't yet. I ha I'm an Android user. Um, I have the iPad. That's what I use for my live sales. But the only thing that you need an Apple product for is to go live. You as a buyer, you do not need an Apple product. You don't need the app. I do as much as I can going on my on virtualantiquemarketplace.com. All you got to do is hit that in your uh, search browser on your Android phone and you can shop, you can watch the live sales, you can do all of those things even if you don't have the app. But I prefer to do everything on my computer. My listing, my shipping, my live sale watching, my shopping, on my computer. That's just that's just what I prefer. So that is available. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start taking some pictures of these items and get them listed and um, between now and then you can go into my catalog. I will link it in the description. I'll link my catalog for Tuesday's Vamp Quickie sale. Um and uh you can see the items. You can put in a pre-bid. You can put in a max bid. A max bid, if you think, I can't go. I can't be there. But I really I really like that. I'm screwed again, figurine. But I can't be there. You can put a max bid in. And so you don't even have to be there in order to place your bid. So it, it really is user-friendly. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I did go to the post office. And I did pick up some friend mail. So I'm going to be opening that up tomorrow. So that'll be in another vlog. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. I do want to show you, though. I opened up the box from Emmeline. Emmeline, darling. She sent me a Bucky shirt. Look at that. Bucky's Georgia. It's so soft and so cute. Bucky. Okay, so this made me happy. Oh, it's got a Bucky sticker. Did you know that the tags were Bucky stickers? I'm going to stick that on my table. Because I'm putting... I'm putting bumper stickers all over this nasty table because I can't get the stains off of it. So we're gonna we're gonna make it good. We're gonna make it good and fill it with stickers. Okay, I went live on Vamp sporadically, and I think that's something I'm gonna start doing. If you if you caught it, thank you. But I think it's a good idea. I might do this where we just have a little chat. I can do a preview and that sort of thing. So that was a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to doing that again. Um, so I will link that whole live down in the description. So if you want to get, like, get a better view of everything that I'm going to be selling in the vamp sale, then you can watch it there. But let me just show you real quick. Um, we did discuss, I might bring May Babe Secrets to the vamp sale Tuesday. I don't know yet. I'm going to put her right here. I might bring you girl, baby secrets, but I am bringing a lot of these artisan reincarnata pieces. Oops, sorry. Let me zoom out a minute. These Dion quintuplets, they're all chalkware. Um, I ha I'm, I'm starting them at $80, but if you look at the, at the comps, they sell for about $100, some of them even a little bit more than that. So they're like the toddler version, I guess you could say. So um, those are going to be available. Alf, these Coventry Ware chalkware pieces, they have some value as well. Um, I love this guy. He's you know what again. Um, I love, this is my favorite AR piece right here, the aerobics cat. Got a squirrel family. This mod girl, little squirrel. Poodles, some oranges, some lucite some turtles, this cute little tin. So all of those things are available in the catalog um, on my vamp sale. And I'll link that down in the, in, the script, in the description as well. And go over to the other sellers and check out their catalogs as well. Again, you can put in those pre-bids, the max bids, yada, 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 and all that kind of stuff. All right, I am getting ready to go ahead and go home. <laughs> and I have a meeting with vamp sellers later on this evening at eight. So still not done with my day yet, but talking about the thing that I love so much and is vamp and selling and live selling and vintage and antique. So I could do this and never, ever get tired of it. So that's going to be on the agenda tonight. But thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I am working on getting the next shopping vlog video edited. 
please be patient with me. I'm still trying to figure out I want to do daily content. I just can't keep up with doing the daily content. So I am going to be, you know, popping in and doing as many vlogs as humanly possible. Some weeks I might be on the gusto. Some weeks I might be stressed out. I am going to start vlogging, getting my vignettes set up and pulling items from my shelves to add for the pop-up. Again, June 29th here in Bedford, Indiana. We're having, we're opening the doors, having a pop-up, having a sale. It's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope that you are going to be able to attend and meet um, these other great sellers and just kind of hang out and have fun with us on a really busy weekend on the square. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Do you love shopping? I love shopping, specifically for vintage and antiques. But sometimes it's hard to get out and about with our busy lives. But I tell you what, there is a new way to shop for vintage and antiques, and that is at virtualantiquemarketplace.com, otherwise known as VAMP. There are over 9,000 active listings by over 200 trusted, vetted, sellers that is guaranteed to ship your items within three business days of your purchase. It's fast. It's fun. It's all curated, true vintage and antiques over on Virtual Antique Marketplace. I am Misty and I am one of the owners. We would love to have you come over, become a member. It's totally free and jump into these live sales, static sales, support small businesses over on virtualantiquemarketplace.com. Come on over and join in on the fun. Red Hot Mama, Red Hot Mama, you're the one we need. Red Hot Mama, some charmer, yes indeed. They say that I should be in the Follies, Hot Tamales. They say that I got a pair of eyes just like old Sven Valleys. I confess that I possess the sweetest charms in town. And unless I miss my guess, the boys will follow me around I could make a music master, drop his fiddle Make a bald head, a man part his hair in the middle